This week, we begin with our mooring across from Farmer's Arms in Bursco. We want to take you on a short journey past the swing bridge at New Lane, which is bridge number 31. And this is a cottage in Bursco that has got just an absolutely beautiful garden. And a glorious place to sit, just looking out at the canal, watching the ducks, the occasional boat go through the swing bridge. They're just so pretty and well kept. There's some boats on uh, permanent moorings over there. And here's the view. They've just got field, which I think is just lovely. going just a little further you'll see there's a road that runs alongside while walking Tilly I happened to notice this place and I thought ooh, a reclamation yard and we always had old cottages and old houses so this was something that we really enjoyed checking out so you pass this old disused swing bridge before you come up to it And you'll see some interesting looking stones here. And there's the path. It's a heck of a beam, isn't it? Oh, it's a heck of a beam. Lawson's yard. Website and their Pinterest, Instagram, and Facebook, and Twitter accounts. Very nice. We got some very cool stuff. Yeah, not sure what it is, like an old workbench or something, but look at the look at the handles and the. Yeah, it is. Work. It's a, it's an old woodwork. It's image. lovely, isn't it? You could turn something like that into a sink. Yeah, you could. You even got a a vice already on it so that when you cook one of your meals I can grip the food and use a hacksaw on it. Thanks. That'll be the last hot cooked meal I ever get. This is lovely, this decorated chest. No, you don't. I do. Well, look at the old um, arbor's chairs. I know, I saw them. They're cool. They are cool. They look like 1960s, I 1970s. Would think, yeah, probably 60s. 60s, you, think? Well, you think? Maybe, yeah, maybe 60s 70s. Or 70s. Late 60s or early 70s. That's nice. Nice little kettle. Sweet. Got an anatomy and physiology drawing there. Pottery. It's a, an old teapot with a metal handle and pottery. Look at the old kitchen unit. Yeah. Got a place to hang the nice. A little bit of market garden in here. Yeah. Well, I'm with that teacher. <laughs> uh, so you, you have to you have to get the bowl. You have to stop off. And there's the honesty box. A really nice little work from home business. 
making the most of their lovely small holding and providing honey, flowers, and vegetables. And uh, this is where we moored up and had a lovely meal a few nights ago and they've just finished repainting it. They've done a great job. It worked really quickly. They had cherry pickers to work with and given it a whole new lease of life. So highly recommended. Good place. Along the way we pass the wool boat. Occasionally you'll see them at various locations along the canal. And the weather is getting cold, so if you want something warm to wear or to gift over the holidays, check out their website. We'll include that in the description below. This is the main road running through Bursco. They've really worked hard to make it pretty. All the flowers, it's just lovely. There's a DIY hardware with a wonderful lady that was ready to assist every time I went in. There are many repurposed old buildings, and there's a Tesco and Spar within walking distance of the canal. I went regularly to a corner beauty shop for hair washes. The student stylist washed my hair and conditioned it for £2.50, and the chair even included an electric back massager and footrest. Pure luxury. The post office accepts post restant for two weeks maximum. There's also a beauty salon for your best friend. First go bridge from in front of the Blue Mallard. There's a water point here for boaters. There you go. So you just moor up to the side of the bridge here and replenish your water supply. So that direction is Liverpool. And as we turn around off in this direction is towards Wigan. Nice to see the cobbles. Not so nice if you've got a cycle across them. It's a fine tradition. Perfect trip hazards. What could go wrong right next to the canal? And at the moment there's a, a beer and music festival on here, I think. Although it's uh, too early in the morning for any of the music and I don't think there's any beer being served. There's a cafe in the corner that's pretty popular. We usually get a milkshake and a puppuccino while we fill up our water tank. So if you're at uh, Bursco and you need some emergency uh, bits and pieces, like if you've dropped your keys in the canal or uh, you need more in pins, that kind of stuff, uh, come to Canalside Curiosities. Uh, it's just over Bursco Bridge and uh, take a look around while you're here. And uh, it's a nice little place, very interesting. So good place to keep on your itinerary. We were really curious about this Bursco Bridge sign and a number of other things that we saw around the town. It was part of a, a scheme to revitalize Bursco Bridge. There's a video animation that uh, celebrates the inspiration behind the scheme and I will include that in the description below along with uh, more information on the Bursco Bridge project. So we're in the, uh, the wharf area of Bursco and I uh, came across this uh, Morris Dancers kind of celebration. Uh, we are two or three jolly lads 
all in one mind. It continues here. We have come a pace egging, if you will be so kind. And over here, it continues. This is on Smithy Walk. <clears throat> if you will be so kind with your eggs and strong beer. We'll come no more here till this time next year. So if you take a walk from the canal up into um, Versco, so you cross the bridge from the canal, and on the right hand side, just behind the packet boat, yeah, next to the spa shop, is this amazing antique shop and vintage, and it's got so much cool stuff in it. We bought this, Tilly Stormlight. Do not let this lamp fall into disuse for want of a spare part which is available from your local dealer. Here's my new Tilly lamp that I've got working. Just put a new mantle on it, which I got from eBay. Um, it's got kerosene in it at the moment. When uh, that's gone we'll use lamp oil because it smells less but I'm very pleased I don't really smell it now it's not bad it's not bad now that it's uh, got the new mantle on it it's working right right let's get the sunglasses out cool 
Let's get our shades on. Well, I could get this for Carol so that she could have a bath on the boat. We'd have to take the lamp out. Carol particularly loves this green leather sofa, which is spectacular. It's, uh, it looks really, really cushy. Lovely. What a cool place. What make is this? I love old radios. Oh look, it's an old Roberts. Gorgeous. R707.
almost immediately down from Liberty, there's Liberty, there's a turning. And it appears to go to a farm. But you can actually walk past the farm because there's a public footpath. So you walk past this very cool old barn which says 1701 on it. Philly likes this walk. Now Tilly can go kind of loose for a bit until we get up to where the railroad crossing is. Then we'll have to put her back on the lead, obviously. Is that your property now? She does pretty good for a partially blind dog. Don't you tell? Where are you going? Oh, you smelling rabbits. Lots of cabbage white butterflies in this uh, field. Is it because of all the cabbages? Where are the cabbages? I know they're in the next field, aren't they? Yeah, Tilly goes under. She takes the easy way. <laughs> All clear. We got a giant cabbage patch here. And what's one of your favorite pot meals that I make, Rob? Cabbage, potato, and sausage, and just any old sausage? Kielbasa, you gotta find you a Polish shop. It's a really nice meal, and uh, you can have it for a couple of days. I'll put the recipe that I got from my grandma in the description if you'd like to try it. Cabbage whites. And there's loads. And I believe these are potatoes over here, aren't they? I think so. Well, the cabbages have done great. What a crop, huh? What? Look at all the cabbage whites! And then you come into this field of potatoes. So all that's missing, we got the cabbage, we got the potatoes, we just need some sausage. Normally we'd carry on a little bit, but it looks like we might be getting another storm. We've had a couple of thunderstorms yesterday and uh, we might be getting another one, looks like, today. Tilly likes to slow way down when she knows she's heading back to Liberty. It's like, yeah, I'd like to smell some more stuff and just kind of hang out a little bit and you almost trip over her trying to get back because uh, she walks so slow. But if I was going off in a different direction, her pace would pick right up. <laughs>
We hope you enjoyed our more and explore of Bursco and Martin Meir. Join us next time as we cruise to Parbold, find a great little place for breakfast, cruise on to Apley, and find some magical places nearby. See you soon!